Hi guys, this is Caroline from So Can She. I am so excited to finally, finally give you the free quilt pattern for my summer snowflake quilt, which you see right here. Let me tell you, I have been working on this quilt for seven years. Some of you might understand you get started on a quilt project and you're so excited at the beginning when you first design the quilt or find the pattern and then the pieces get put away for whatever reason and they become just another work in progress until you get the bug to finish that quilt. And this past month I got the bug to finish this quilt and I am so glad I did. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much when I first designed it and I made all of the half square triangles for this quilt at that time and then I made about half of the blocks and then we moved and the children were growing and had things that they needed me for and this project just got put in my whip pile until now and um, I'm so excited to finally finish it. Now, the unique and fun thing about this half square triangle quilt, you see there are a lot of half square triangles in this quilt. And so as I was working on it to help me not get mixed up, not to turn my little triangles the wrong way and sew them together wrong, to help me, I made this little mat that I could put next to my sewing machine and then lay my little pieces on it and then as I went ahead and chain pieced I could just grab the pieces from the mat and then after sewing pieces together I put them back on the mat to help me ensure that I sewed all of these together in the right configuration. So then when you sew these 16 pieces together then you make four of these and put four of these together to make one of this piece right here. Once you get started, I think you are going to love the process too. After you make all of the half square triangles, which you can make them any way that you like. These are the two and a half inch half square triangles, which finish at two inches. So you can use jelly roll strips to make them. You can use mini charm squares to make them. I'll give you a link to my half square triangle paper, which that's actually how I made them. I used half square triangle papers so that they were all exactly the right size, but you can also use other shortcut methods to make half square triangles. And I'll give you links to all of my methods for making half square triangles the free pattern to make this beautiful quilt and also this free printable download for this little mat to help you put them all together correctly without any stress and without worrying and getting them put together wrong or worrying if you're doing it right. So um, please watch this video. It's going to show you how I did it exactly step by step. And then once you make your blocks, you sew them together and you can quilt it any way you like. And then you'll have this beautiful summer snowflake quilt. So. So here's the layout mat that I designed to use with my summer snowflake quilt. This makes it really easy to lay out your half square triangles and not get any of them turned the wrong way. As you can see here, I have some gray half square triangles and then I have some pink print half square triangles and these can be used with any of the bright colors in the quilt. And then half the squares are just blank which you'll fill in with your background fabric. And I'm just going to take these scrappy pink and white half square triangles and lay them out. Since this is a scrappy quilt, I'm not paying too much attention to the layout, just trying to make it random and the colors look nice. So here are the gray ones that I have. And I'll just lay them out. The most important thing, as you notice, is you just need to make sure that the print side of your half square triangle is on the darker part of the half square triangle on the mat, just like this. And if you match them all like this, then it will turn out just right. And so here I have a bunch of background cuff squares. These are just cream colored fabric the same cream colored fabric that I used to make the half square triangles. So I'm just going to fill this in. And then when I sit down to sew, I can go ahead and I can sew together this row of half square triangles and then this row of half square triangles and then I'll go ahead and press. So I'm going to chain piece this block and I'm going to pick up my pieces 
in almost the exact same way every time I use the mat. Now I'm sewing with my quarter inch foot, you can't see that, and I'm sewing a scant quarter inch seam allowance. And as I chain piece, that means that I won't cut the threads in between each set of pieces. And you'll see that will help me with pressing and with nesting seams later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and chain piece all of the little half square triangles in this first little block. And now I have my first chain piece set here. I will set my little mat aside. And I'm going to pull over my wool pressing mat just for this purpose. Now usually I do this at my ironing board so I have a little bit more room. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one in half so that you can see everything I'm doing here to press them but on my ironing board, I leave them all straight in one long line. Now, in order to help us nest the seams, I'm going to flip every other little unit up. Okay, and you'll see this is a great way to press correctly to have all your seams nest. So first I'll just go ahead and set the seams by lightly pressing and then I'm going to press each piece open. Now I am pressing my seams to the side, you see here, and that will help me with nesting my seams. If you are a quilter who presses your seams open, then by all means, just press these pieces the way that is most comfortable to you. I'm not done using it and I'm just going to take these pieces that I pressed and lay them back down again on my mat and you see that all of the pieces still match up with the triangles on the mat. As long as we keep laying them down and matching them up with the triangles on the mat that will prevent us from mixing up our triangles as we sew. So now that these are all laid out I'm just going to go ahead and Flip the threads in between each piece so that I can sew them together. And I'm going to repeat my chain piecing process here to sew these little strips together. press these just the same way. I'll set the seams and then carefully press each piece with the seams going in opposite directions. triangles still match up with the places on the mat. Once again I'll just go ahead and clip the threads that are in between each strip and now I'm going to go ahead and sew my strips together and this is where the nesting comes in. So if you take a look here you'll see that 
the way that I've pressed this is these two seams are going in opposite directions and they are all the way down the strip. So it will be easy for me to just sew from seam to seam, pinching these seams together to make sure that they are locked together, nested, and that will help my squares turn out just beautiful. So when I'm nesting seams like that, I'm pretty much just sewing from seam to seam, working to keep them all nested. I don't usually use pins. And there's the first one. And I'll do it again, nesting my seams as I go. again I'm just going to cut this little thread and then I'm going to lay these back on my mat making sure that I match up my triangles and I'm going to sew this last seam together These seams nest too. And now let's press our block. So pretty. So to press this block, I'm going to Press all the seams in one direction again. I'll set the seam and then go ahead and press it. Then I'll set the next seam and press it. And set the last seam. And press it. Yes. This piece is just one fourth of our summer snowflake block. So I can take four of these pieces and put them together and I'm going to sew them together in just the same way. I will fold them to over and I'm going to sew this seam right here on both of them. Now the wonderful thing is if you have pressed and sewn your blocks each one the exact same way, then all of these seams will nest too. So thanks so much for visiting my website. 
please like this video and subscribe it. If you love quilts the way I do and you love making quilts, let me know in the comments how you like this method of using a little mat to lay out your quilt pieces. Happy quilt making!